first drop, we're going to be dropping the iPhone 6S on its back with this wooden platform to help get more consistent drops. All right, so yeah, pretty much no damage. The only thing you really see is a little bit of uh, scuffing right along the top right. I'm not sure if that's coming through on camera, but phone still works, we're good to go. All right, so next drop is for the 6S Plus. We'll be doing the same backdrop. Again, just a little a tiny chip mark right there, but for the most part, looks pretty good. You know, it's not gonna be too disappointing. All right, so the backdrops are relatively easy, so we're gonna take it to the next level and do a side drop. All right, so after that side drop, you can see there is a little bit of a chip mark at the bottom right of the phone. And it does look like the headphone jack is a little bit bent, but other than that, looks pretty good. All right, so same test for the iPhone 6S Plus and... All right, so as you can see with the 6S Plus, you uh, have a dent mark right over here, but the good news is the screen is still working just like it is on the 6S. So now it's time to go to the hardest test of them all, which is a face front drop. And uh, we'll start off with the 6S. So uh, the screen did crack, unfortunately, but it is still working and I have to say, you know what, compared to last year's results, this cover glass does look stronger. All right, so the 6S did get a screen cracked on the last test. Let's see how the iPhone 6S Plus does. So we're gonna do the same thing, drop it on its face. Pretty much same result. You have a lot of cracking actually on the top right corner. Uh, display still does work. So the fact that the display works, at least you'll be able to make an emergency call if you needed it in like a worst case scenario, but you're not gonna be able to use this for a long time.